of Merida's Adventures and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about how did I fail my driver's license exam for the first time. So today is Friday the 13th and unfortunately it is not my day. Early today, I took my driver's license examination and I didn't Pass it. There's really a day that will not go along with our favor and it is just one of those days but it's not the end of the world like you need to work hard still and you don't need to be ashamed that you didn't pass the first try or that you didn't make the first examination for your driver's license exam and you know I'm sharing with you this story because it's nothing to be ashamed of okay and I've really really worked hard and I've prayed a lot and aside from that it is so expensive to have a driver's license here in Germany earlier today I took my driver's license exam it was around 8 a.m. and I was already awake around 6 a.m. because you know I really need to prepare and we need to go to the city to have my driver's license exam and I was so prepared earlier today and then when we arrived at the starting examination point I was so nervous and I just prayed to God God let me pass this examination because I've paid a lot not me but yeah my husband paid a lot for this and the driving examination costs around 230 euro and it's about 13 or 14,000 or 13,000 when we convert it in Philippine peso and I was like saying God please give me the knowledge and I really need to focus on this examination and 8 a.m. and my examiner arrived and we greeted each other and then she asked me if I understand German language and I said I can speak and understand a little bit German but I really need her to speak so slow so that I can understand it fully and yeah she was really nice and at first I was not so nervous but I don't know um, when we started my heart just beat so fast and um, it feels like there's a lot of butterflies going on in my stomach and I was really really nervous so I started and I was so focused then I drove and it was really really okay at first but they can really feel that there's a tension in me and I was shaking and I was really nervous and I don't know why but it doesn't happen whenever we practice with my teacher and then she just said Jane you need to relax because it's just an examination it's just a driver's license examination you know what it's more difficult because you arrived here alone and risk um, your future but you don't know what lies here ahead so do not be nervous so yeah I'm sorry <laughs> oh I was like I was moved oh my god why did I cry <laughs> yo I, I don't need to cry but yeah I know if you don't pass this time maybe next time we can do it together so we started driving and then it was really really okay at first and then we drove to the zone 30 it was rest for links it was okay like I drove really really good and it was right and then the examiner told me like you need to go to the left side and left and left and then I just followed the instruction so it was okay and she said that you need to park right beside the red car but it will be on a side park so I did it correctly so I was like okay I've done parking and it was okay we proceeded to the city and it was 
traffic because it's around 8 a.m. and a lot of people on their way to work and I was so nervous because it's just so traffic and I I can't concentrate because my teacher and the examiner are talking to each other and I am overthinking about the rules and there's a lot of things going on in my mind and then she said you need to turn right so I turned right and then my teacher said Jane you need to relax okay you need to relax because I know that she can feel that I'm too nervous and it was zone 30 and then I proceed driving and then I was so slow and I saw the stop shield sign and I was just driving slowly and I don't know I know that I've read the stop shield sign and I was looking right and left and on the mirror and then I didn't stop so I drove slowly and turned right and then it was it just 60 seconds and then I failed the examination so the the examiner asked me Frau Gonzaga warum hast du das Auto nicht angehalten she asked me why didn't I stop the car at the stop shield so I was like yeah that was a mistake so we ended the examination with that mistake because it is very important to stop at the stop shield and I'm not really focused and I was checking okay there's no car from left to right so I proceed but I need to stop at that point so I just asked myself okay why didn't I stop so she said oh it's too merveilleux like about that is wichtig so I didn't make it and she just said like it's too much work is light about two has nicht dein Prüfung bestanden so I was like what like what should I do like I am so nervous and then she said yeah but this is important that you need to stop on the stop shield so I was like okay I was so sad and I was so devastated and yeah my teacher said you know what I know that you can drive and we've been practicing and I know that she can drive she's really good with driving but today I don't know what happened but I guess she's just so nervous okay so that's it I failed the examination because I didn't stop at the stop shield and I was like okay so maybe next time um, yeah in my mind oh my god that is 230 euro and the money goes into waste and yeah and yung 230 euro ko. so I proceed and went back to the starting point of the examination and then she just said like maybe next time you need to be more focus and don't be too nervous whenever you take the examination and she handed me this paper so my mistakes are nicht beachten von Verkehrszeichen so that is the stop shield I didn't stop and then unterlassene Bremsbereitschaft so that is auch eine Fall that is my mistake also so that is um, I didn't break at the stop shield so yeah, that is only the problem and then I, w I just said oh my god we're almost 45 minutes and I've done a lot and I didn't make it so yeah the message today from God um, it's okay for you to commit mistake but don't make that mistake um, for you to feel ashamed because it's normal to commit mistakes and maybe it's not the right time for me to have my driver's license at the moment and then yeah i've prayed and worked hard really hard for this driver's license examination but yeah that's life <laughs> celery that's life so maybe next time i will even work harder to pass my second exam and i already scheduled it next month and i just believe that all things work together for good maybe today the favor it's not in me but 
I am not losing hope because I know that I can do it again next time and surely I can pass it next time. That's the reason why I am sharing you this experience because guys, it's okay for you to commit mistakes. It's okay for you to share your failures because the road to success is not easy and you need to learn the hard way and you need to trust the process and right time will go on your way and don't ever ever give up because you know there's a lot of successful individuals learned also the hard way and you know don't ask god why did it happen but instead you need to trust him even more and you need to do your very best and I just learned that I need to share this lesson that I have learned today because it will encourage you guys if you feel lonely or sad or if you feel down because the things that you planned didn't go smoothly but you know guys you need to trust God and trust the process so i am leaving with you guys my favorite verse pr from proverbs 3 5 trust in the lord with all your hearts and lean not unto your understanding and i really hope that you will have a blessed day and again this is rothes of meredith's adventures if you like this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe on my youtube channel so, bye! Tell me I'm the only one that you know. Life